I've got something cool to show you. Now let's zoom in before we even plug the power in. As you can see here, we have a BBC micro bit and the power supply. So I wonder what we can do with those. Well, let's find out. I'm going to tell you here in just a minute. First of all, we're going to power it up and see if you get any hints. So first thing you notice, I'm just going to centre this on the frame. There's one light on. I wonder why there's only the one light on just now and we haven't even done anything except power it in. Well, how about you press buttons A and B together and see what happens. You've got button A here, button B here. Let's press them and see what happens. Oh, it's doing something interesting now. ZZ9s B B C micro lift it's got a zero on it I wonder why it's got a zero on it it said micro lift and the answer is and I'll tell you now this is a micro bit the program loaded on it that is a lift simulator in JavaScript blocks and just JavaScript generally and when I say JavaScript, I was using the block editor, so it was basically like Scratch, but with different... Um, what am I trying to say? Different words in the blocks, basically. And there's a couple different blocks in there. What it says right now is zero. And this right here is a button for zero, and as you can see, it's not going to move when I press the zero button. And that is a good thing. So we're going to press B now, and see what happens. But before we press B, I want to show you how you turn it off. You turn it off... Just the same thing you turn it on. Two buttons together. And it says goodbye to you. Because it's a polite it's a polite simulator. And then after about a second, go to back power save mode. That just tells you you still got the power going to it so you don't accidentally leave the battery plugged in and make the battery go flat. So now we're gonna turn it on again. You can see the LEDs now, look at this. This is an interesting view of the simulator. This is a BBC micro bit. You can get them online for not that much at all. And then there's a file inside when you connect it to your computer that you can get to the site and you can go code, code a program for it yourself. Now it's loaded up. What we are going to do is we're going to press the B button. And this lift is a hydraulic. Here it is, levelling at 1. Now it's stopped, it opens the door. The door is open, now it holds for 6 seconds and then it closes again. And again, at 1, you cannot send it back down. No, take it down. There it goes. It was leveling back down at zero. Now this, I think, if you had an external speaker that you could plug into the zero and ground pins, you could probably give this some sound. I think if you had an external speaker and a resistor or something, I think, but I don't have that, that equipment, so basically this one's without sound. Now, the real good thing is, I did not expect it to do this, but it actually has call memory, because the way that the um, code works, it actually, if you press B and then you press A, it'll actually hold the running of the A script until the B script's finished. So watch this. Pressed B, pressed A, so the A button sends it to floor 0, the B button sends it to 1. So now let's just watch it. So there it is at 1 on the B button script. 
when the door is open. Now watch this when the door is closed. Watch what it does. Doors are going to close. Now watch this. It starts going down again. And again, if I was to then press the B button, which I just did, it's leveling at zero. And the door is closed. And up it goes. This thing does not have a parking system on it, it will just sit where you last left it, so this is going to sit at one afterwards, once it closes the doors up again. And there it goes. And it sits at one. And then another good thing about it is, and I actually had this bug when I was developing this. See, you were wanting to get somewhere quick and you were spamming the button. What would happen before I made the fix was that you'd press it and then it would actually it would go down to zero, open, then close. Then it would actually start going down to zero again, but then the indicator would switch back to one. But then I fixed that and now if you spam it multiple times, let's see what happens. So press the button many many times, that was ten times that I pressed it let's see what it does it's going down it's arriving at zero door is open no. let's see and it closes It'll then just sit because it cancels the other runnings of the A button because it will actually store, it will actually queue it up. So if you press the A button 10 times, it would actually run the script for the A button 10 times, which is a bit weird, but that's how this particular code system works. That I, excuse me, that I made it on. It's the same with the B button, it does exactly the same, it'll cancel it. If you try to spam it, it will not try and go one ten times or whatever. I only pressed it four that time, but still, same situation applies. It levels and it'll open. I have the little gap where there's nothing on, like between the um, number and the doors, just to just to make it seem a bit better. Because when it was going without a little bit where there was nothing on there, it just didn't quite look right, I don't know, I just wasn't completely happy with the effect with that little delay it just makes the effect better in my opinion there's another thing to stop this thing going is basically if I was to try and turn it off while it was moving what it'll do is, it won't just stop in between floors, so I'll press both buttons at the same time it won't just stop in between floors because that's kind of dangerous for someone in the elevator at the time that I want to switch it off for maintenance. So what it'll do is it will wait until it stopped moving. So if I was to press B right now, in the script it would still check. If it was running or not, so it's going to go back up. And then I think I can do this as many times as I want and it won't crash the program, I hope but it's now arrived back at 1 so what it'll then do is it'll stop, open up and close the doors as it does and then it should, if I've got this right, it should, it should then after about a second switch off the simulator, oh no it's going back down, I must have selected 0 there I think I maybe selected zero and I forgot. You know that it has gone crazy. It could easily have done that. Maybe when I was moving it I accidentally tripped zero. Alright, it's opened up. Let's watch what it does. Now 
Now it waits. And it looks like the script timed out there, so it can do that. Depends on a checking time, because it it checks it specific, it checks it reasonably regular intervals. And if you catch a check at the wrong moment, then it will then run on the next bit of the script and then cancel the turning the so turning it off. But what it usually would do is if it was moving, and then you turn it off. You hit the buttons to turn it off. It what it will what it should do and what it normally does is when it finishes, it'll turn itself off. So the doors are going to open. It's really interesting seeing it do stuff that you haven't seen it done before. Doors close. Waits a second and turns off. Of course it never fully turned off because standby light comes on. So to turn it off fully you have to take the battery pack out. That turns off the simulator fully. So this is done quite interesting and um, what's it called? If you have a micro bit yourself and you would like a copy of the script file. I may have posted this in the. I may have posted the file in the off-topic section of the Skyscraper Sim forum. Although I don't know how many people would uh, on that would find it relevant. I'm just gonna turn it off, save battery. Don't know how many people on that would find it relevant. But there you go. Uh, if you want it, I'll either have it available there, or if you're on the forum and you want it, then I can send it to you via personal message on Skyscripts and Forum. Or if you want and you have in the About Sex in your channel, you've got it set up, then I could email you it the file for it and then all you've got to do with the file is copy it into microbit drive it will copy it in, microbit will go blank for a second while it processes the file and then it will start up automatically for you like it does if you're to uh, plug in the battery it does the same when you plug in the USB it immediately starts up so if you've got a microbit and you want the file either either I can email it to you if I have the ability to, or if you're on Skyscraper or some forum and you want me to do it that way, then I'll send it to you via personal message. Or if neither of those are available, then I may do a separate video showing the code and then you can try and recreate it yourself. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen the stum of the micro bit. This is a First time I've attempted this, I did most of the code work a couple of days ago. I don't think I was doing no, I wasn't doing that on a live stream, but um, I did most of the code work a couple of days ago, and then today I've just been fixing up the bugs with it. I actually have another micro bit that's got this program landed on it, uh, loaded on it as well, but I don't have that micro bit in here right now. I've just got this one. Anyway, I'm gonna back this up a little now. With that being said, let me know in the comments what you thought of ZZ9 BBC Microlift. I say BBC because it's in some way affiliated with the BBC, I believe. Part of an education program or something, I think these microbits are, I think the current thing they're being ruled out to all kids are living and over they've been given them and they're doing it as part of a computing course they get to learn how to make programs with a micro bit anyway with that being said hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments what you think of the micro lift and before we end Let's 
show it traveling one more time. Just going to set this in a good spot. A good spot is not always easy to find with this thing, it's a bit awkward to set down sometimes. Let's watch it one more time. Here we go. First floor. Take it back down. And I'll let the micro bit have the closing word on this video. What do you have to say, Microbit? That'll be it. The end of this video has been reached, but the end of your stay on my channel doesn't have to be. You can watch more videos if you want, and it's simple to do it. You just click the buttons, click here, or here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. I guess until next time, it's bye y'all!